So, we need to begin to understand that we have free will. This is the moving out of the matrix, moving away from the thousands of years of indoctrination. They weren't the bad guys, it was the time. That's how it was. Now we're shifting to something else. We need to understand that we are no longer part of those collective stories. This doesn't make you alone. This doesn't make you separate. You will find more and more and more tribes, more and more friendships that will be coming in with a different form of agreements, a different story. I'm sure you're all finding that in so many different ways. Learning really strongly not to fight or resist. Coming away from this, I'm always talking about it, push, pull, divide and conquer, clinging and grasping. All energies need to be neutralized. So we do not aggravate, but we discern by knowing what is right and wrong for you. Knowing what is right and wrong for you is quiet. It doesn't have a story to prove. It doesn't have to convince somebody else. It doesn't have to have an opinion. Oh my gosh, opinions. <laughs> you know, opinions, opinions, opinions. Our world is full of so many bloody opinions. You know, neutralization is knowing your own mind reclaiming your authority, reclaiming your own mind and stilling your solar plexus so that we're not moving through this aggravated emotional emotionality where the brain then gets distorted. It's coming back to peace. So when we are in our power, when we are in our authority, we do not have to argue or fight. We choose different ways to be. This is coherence. This is helping individually the group shift, to be aware and to do it differently. So how do we do that? We establish what is right for you. And that can change minute to minute. Establish what is right for you, get clear. Do not judge anybody else. Whatever anybody is experiencing is absolutely okay for them. Do not judge them. Do not attach, do not judge, do not have an opinion. Neutralize. Do not add to the disturbance. This is social activism. We step back. We choose what we want to agree with. If somebody else's choice is aligned to your choice, and if not, you just step back, you neutralize. Without divisive, without making somebody right or wrong, without giving them an opinion that you have to correct them. You don't, it's not your job. Your job is you. Beautiful you. Your job is you. So we don't offer opinions, what we think, but we can discern to say what we feel and what we know, but it's not coming from that kind of aggravated solar plexus energy. So be aware, do it differently, let go of judgments, choose a different path, be true to yourself, be true to your sovereignty, Remember who you are when there's chaos. Choose the path of non-reaction. Let love and abundance and peace be your friends, be your alignments. And to consciously choose to pull yourself out of this every day agreement to the fear mongery and the guilt mongery and the jealous mongery and the not enough mongery this complete lack 
we have more than enough we need to share now. We need to share. We need to stop acquiring and share. These are all new codes, new ways of being on our earth. And remember to choose the reality you want to experience. So for me, you know, simple. I practice new neutrality. I don't practice duality as much as I can. I practice neutrality. I don't practice duality as much as I can. And I'm choosing flexibility and spontaneity and spaciousness. And that I can be different in every moment as I relearn and reclaim. And I am softening and I am surrendering. 